Okay, so this is going to be an introductory uh, tutorial on using fireworks. Uh, it's not meant to explain everything, it's just to get you started uh, using the tools in fireworks so you can get familiar with it. Uh, we'll learn it in a little more detail as the course goes on. Uh, to start with, I'm using uh, an older version of fireworks, so you're probably using CS4, uh, but most of the tools I'm going to be using um, in this tutorial, tutorial should be the same. When you first go into fireworks, you get this welcome screen. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new fireworks file. We're creating a new graphic. So if you just click on this, and you get this little pop-up window. Uh, that's basically asks you to set what is the size you want for the graphic. What's the, they call it the canvas, the size of the area you want to draw. Uh, for this exercise today, we're going to make it 400 pixels wide by 400 high. Um, and I'm going to make sure the canvas colour in this case is transparent. Uh, while we're using that will become clear later. Press OK and Fireworks comes up with this layout. So this is the canvas, this is the area where we're going to draw the uh, actual graphic for today. Um, I'm not going to go for all the tools, there's quite a few here. We're going to be using these basic tools which come under on the left hand side of the toolbar which is the vector tools. Now the requirement we're given is to create a smiley logo for Stanmore College. Uh, the requirements we've been given are that there should be text, uh, which should say Stanmore College, it should be in the colour blue, and we're given the size for it. And we've also been asked to draw a uh, smiley character, uh, a smiling face, to go as part of the logo. Uh, to start with, let's do the text. So. This will look slightly different, you'll probably see uh, on your screen it would be T for text, in my case it's A, but it's the same thing. I click on that, which means I'm going to use the text tool. Down the bottom, uh, I get a new panel appears, and it tells me, or I can set here, what I'm going to make my text look like. Uh, so I can choose a font, in this particular case I want Arial, so I'm going to leave that font as Arial. This is the size of the the font, so I'm going to leave that as 50, so if you haven't got that you can type 50 in that box or you can use this little drop down slider and set the level there, but 50 is what we want. Uh, the other thing is the text colour, if you click on this box you get a number of different options and you can choose a shade of blue, I've actually already set the shade of blue I want which is this, so I'm going to stick with that one. So we want a shade of blue for our text, so we've set the font of the text, the size of it, and the uh, colour of it. Now we just click here, and it starts off the text box. We don't do anything more at the moment, just type what you need, so it's going to be Stanmore. I'm just going to leave that as a separate text box, I'm going to put the name College in a separate box as well. So I just need to get that as a text tool again. So College. What I'm going to do now is position this so it looks like the wording Stanmore College as it appears on our website. For this I'm going to use this pointer tool. So if I click here, and this allows me to move objects on the canvas around. And if I can remember, I think that's how it normally looks on the website. So that's the wording I'm going to use, Stanmore College. Um, I want this to become one object on the canvas. At the moment it's two different things. I can move that around and I can move that around separately. But in fact I want them to look like one thing, so I'm going to drag them around they move together. The way I do that is I'm still on the point at all. So I just circle round both objects and as you can see these blue boxes tell me that both objects are selected. Make sure your pointers in the blue area of one of them and right click your mouse and just click group. Now this is one object on my canvas and I can move it around to my heart's content. I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. Now we need to draw the smiley face, the other part of the logo. Uh, for that I'm going to use the one of the vector tools which is used for drawing shapes, which is here. If you actually click and hold your left mouse button down, you get a, a pop-up menu which shows you all the shapes you can draw using this tool. 
Um, we need to draw a circle, so we're actually going to use the ellipse tool. And with that we can draw circular type shapes, ovals, etc. Or we can draw a circle. Uh, I want the circle to be yellow, so I can change the colour of the circle here. So I'm going to make that uh, yellow, that's the fill colour. I could have also changed it down here in the property inspector. Both do the same thing. Uh, the second thing is the stroke, so the pencil here, uh, the red line means there's no stroke, there's no border to the circle, which is exactly what I want. Now if I move my mouse over the um, canvas, I get this crosshair symbol which tells me it's ready to draw a shape. I want to draw a circle, so I hold down the shift key, and then I just expand the circle, it doesn't matter what size I make it, because I can alter it in a moment. Um, I let go. I go back to the pointer tool which is in the top left of the toolbox, point to the object which is the circle and then just position it roughly where I want it. Now if I needed to change the size of the circle, I can't use these little anchor points here. If you use any of these anchor points around the shape, around this blue outline, they actually distort the shape. If I want to make the circle bigger or smaller, I have to actually use another tool in the top left you click here with your left mouse button and you get three different options and one of them is the scale tool. When you click on the scale tool you get this border, black border, and that means you can make an object smaller or larger and it will make it smaller or larger in proportion. In this case the circle will still be a circle, it won't get distorted into um, an ellipse or an oval shape. Okay, I don't need that anyway because the circle looks alright, so I now I've got the outline for the face, I need to draw the eyes. I'm going to use the ellipse tool again for this. Um, in this case I don't need the shift key because I'm just going to draw uh, an elliptical shape for an eye. Um, I've actually left the fill colours yellow but I want that to be black so I have to change that. So if I go back while well, I've still got, while well, I'm still selecting that particular object, I'm going to make it black. I don't need any um, stroke so I'll leave that as blank. Uh, basic shape of the eye, let's just make that a little longer. I'll move it around a bit. If I make it, if I click on this sub selection tool, this second pointer, I can actually distort the shape as you can see. Uh, I think that's enough for an eye. Uh, to make the other eye, the second eye, exactly the same, I'm just going to copy this one. Um, if I actually go down to right click my mouse and do edit off this menu and copy, and then copy it, and then do the same thing again, right click the mouse, edit, and in this case paste. It looks as if nothing's happened, but it's actually pasted the second copy on top of the first, I'll just drag it off, and there you go, I've got the two eyes of the shape. Uh, now what I want to do is make um, a sort of thin line for a smiley face around here. The problem with it is there's a number of ways to do it using the vector tools. You could use this pen tool, but it's um, fairly messy to do, and we'll look at that another time. So I'm just going to use a circle again. So let's see how this works. In this case, I just want. Okay, let's draw the face. Let's make sure I click out of here. Uh, let's draw the mouth, should I say. So I'm going to do a circle again, so I hold down the shift key. Um, it's actually a yellow fill, so let me just change that to make it no fill at all, so there's no colour in there. But what I'm going to do is give it a border, a stroke, and I'm going to make that black, and I'm going to make it slightly thicker, so one pixel, I'm going to make it four. Let's see what that does. So what we've now got, let's move the circle up a little. So what we now have is a, a circle that could be the mouth. Obviously it's a big wide mouth at the moment, and I just want this bottom half of the circle, that would be the smile. So what I need to use is another tool which is called the knife tool over here. If you click on the knife tool, and you go back to this section here, and what I'm going to do is drag the knife from one part to another, and then I double click, and if you see when I've moved my cursor there, you can see this top bit of the circle is now got a red outline, that means that the knife tool is ready to cut there. If I press delete, 
on that one, let's just click on it and press delete. I then end up with my smiley face. And I can just position that into position. Okay, that's as far as we're going to go for this particular one.